All right. Hey, guys, and welcome to the five minute telephysio talks, the longest title for the shortest interview. I am Dr. Mike and with me is Dr. Tim. Uh, we are physical therapists who own a small private practice, Runner Specialty Clinic down in the Merriman Valley. And today we're pretty excited. We will be interviewing Connie Gardner uh, just to kind of hype her up a little bit because she is not one who will be bragging on herself. She is a 12 time USA track and field national champion. She is a two time USA track and field ultra runner of the year. And she actually owns multiple age group world records um, across the sport. So I would be willing to argue, and I think a lot of people will be on the same side of me, is probably one of the most accomplished uh, and one of the best ultra runners of all time. So without further ado, I will let Tim jump into some of the questions to introduce and get to talk a little bit more with Connie. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, Connie, thanks again for being with us today on our little tiny uh, show. Um, question number one is we would like to hear a little about a little bit about your entrance into the world of ultra marathoning. Um, when did you start? What are you doing now from a training standpoint? Uh, I started, I started running ultra marathons about, uh, 20 years ago. And, uh, just, um, I've always, I've run marathons for 40 years and, uh, it was just the, the crowd that I was with did a lot of the ultras and, you know, you give it a, give it a try. And it just so happens that I'm, I'm better at the ultra marathoning than I am at the marathoning. So I kind of gave, made that my focus. If I wasn't good at it, I wouldn't do it. I don't know why you'd want to run a hundred miles if you're not good at it. You know? <laughs> are, are you able to, for our viewers who are not as familiar with uh, the sport, are you able to throw out a couple of your, of your PR? I ran 100, 149 and a half miles in a day. I was shooting for 150. The, uh, yeah, that was a, that's a good one. Um, I have a couple hundreds in the 15s, 15 hour range. It's my best 100K, which is 62 miles, is uh, eight hours and 14 minutes. I hit that twice. That's just under an eight minute mile pace. Yeah, absolutely. And I know uh, I, I've worked with you for probably about four years now, uh, which has been my you know pleasure, huge blessing to the clinic to interact with someone uh, like yourself. Now, we wanted to ask you, um, since you've been working for those four years, uh, is there anything specific that you felt uh, that we've been able to help you through or kind of how has POPs helped you on that journey of these, just these last four years of your career? You helped out my back quickly. I don't know if you just did Graston or, you know, like the, the rock blade or if you did dry needling or I think you did a combination of things. And then I was up and running again quickly. And through the years, the last four years, I'm getting older. So a lot of my injuries are, have to do, I think with that. And it's like pushing the reset button. It's you know? kind of like pushing the reset button. So yeah. yeah, after, after I've overdone a race, I like to come in or a, the best thing is like a few days before, just so I feel good while I'm going to race. I know in our community, you're kind of like the name that everybody knows. Everyone is a friend uh, of Connie Gardner. Um, and a lot of people have a lot of respect for the advice you're able to give. Is there anything specifically that you can reach out to our ultra and trail running community currently um, to say, hey, guys, here is something that you can be doing currently, you know, while we're at home during this COVID-19 era uh, in order to chase PRs and um, continue to recover well? I think you, you've you got to start to get, I do myself, try to get a little bit more creative with cross training. It's difficult. We don't have the gyms. We don't. I don't have a pool. Um but there is like, you know, down the road, we have a little parkour that has a pull-up bar. You can do some push-ups on that. You can do a little bit of cross-training that way. Foam rolling is good. But I really love running, so I'm always running too much. And when I'm running too much, I don't have time to do the other stuff a lot. So then I end up getting injured. We don't have the time or patience to foam roll every day for a half hour, an hour, and to do the things we need to do. And then gets all of a sudden it gets to the point where, Oh my gosh, I can't run anymore. I'm kind of crippled. And then as soon as I hear that, I say, Oh, go see these guys. They'll fix you up in a day. And then it'll be like a couple of days later and they're out running with me again. And I say, Oh my God, that's great. We appreciate that. It's pretty cool to hear. And, and you're right. Like uh, if we don't work, we're not working with people who are like, Hey, I do 15 crunches and walk for 30 minutes every day. Like if this is the line where an injury happens, if you're pushing your performance, you're pretty close to that line. You know, you're kind of flying close to the sun. And I think that's where a lot of our stuff comes in. Um, yeah. Speaking of some of the other things, I'll pass this baton back over to Dr. Mike. Um, and he can talk a little bit about some of the telehealth services that are available while we're, you know, stuck in this yeah, COVID-19 area. 
uh, or era. But Connie, we do truly appreciate you both as a person, uh, as our friend, as our client. And so thank you for uh, being on the show today. I'll pass this over to uh, Dr. Mike over there. In the hey, it's great to see you guys. Thanks, Connie. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, thanks again for coming in, Connie. Um, we really appreciate it. But like Dr. Tim was saying, obviously, with uh, things kind of being restricted with our travel and the stay at home being so important right now, uh, we are offering telehealth. Um, for those of you who are listening in, we are offering a, a, a discount as well. If you just want to use the code RUN, that's capital R, capital U, capital N, uh, that's a $10 discount off of a telehealth visit. We find telehealth being really helpful for not only uh, the injured athletes who are trying to get back out there to run, but also it's a great way to uh, advance exercises. Maybe you're kind of stuck in a rut of doing the same thing for three weeks and you're trying to figure out how you need to make that next step forward and progress your uh, your exercise and you're doing to stay healthy. We're a great um, uh, key to be used there as well. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in, Connie. And mm -hmm. like we and Tim continually joke, we will spare anyone me singing a closing out song and just thanks so much. And we'll, we'll see you around out on the trail soon, Connie. So thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. See you guys.